Hello, it is Plurus. Thanks for joining us again and welcome back to another informative video on our YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are taking you inside the strategic city of Port Louis. Port Louis is the capital city of Mauritius. Mauritius has been talked about to be a transformative African nation and a competitive country to the point out. In this episode, we shall lay down the reason why Port Louis is strategically located. Have you been to Port Louis recently or have you done business in Mauritius? Then you must have heard about this magical city in the African continent. So in this episode, we shall drive down the history from the 1650s and the reason why Mauritius and Port Louis in particular is a melting pot in the continent of Africa, the transformative nature and the reason why you should consider doing business in this amazing African city. So without any more delay, we should just go straight into it. In considering Port Louis, for those of you who don't know, Port Louis is the largest city and capital of the small island nation of Mauritius, which is located in the Southwest Indian Ocean. The city had a population of considering that since 2010 of up to 148,000 people at the time. Port Louis, located on the northwest coast of uh, mainland uh, looking at the islands, is an important financial service center and also tourist destination. Due to the tourism and manufacturing economy based around the port, which includes things like the production of chemicals, textiles, plastics, and also pharmaceuticals, Port Louis is one of the most prosperous African cities if you compare that looking at its strategic location within the African continent. So, thank you, Osman. In fact, it's, it's a pleasure to be here in SA as part of the Doing Business in Africa initiative. Well, Mauritius is an island in the Indian Ocean, which lies east of Madagascar the and the southeast of the African coast. Its capital is Port Louis. Mauritius is around 1,864 square kilometer, so you can practically travel from north to south by car in around two hours. Mauritius is almost um, entirely surrounded by coral reefs with lagoons and beaches, making it, as you would guess, a very popular holiday destination. holiday destination. It has, since its independence from the British in 1968, developed from an agricultural economy into a diversified and robust one. Sectors such as textile, tourism, ICT, construction, and financial services. This is presently a middle-income country and is aiming to be a high-income nation by 2020. Now, coming to the people, Mauritius has a diverse ethnic population of around 1.3 million living in peace and harmony. It has an educated and bilingual population talking both French and English, and this makes Mauritius very distinctive. Port Louis was founded at about 1736 by the French as a calling place for ships rounding up the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa on the passage between Asia and Europe. British occupation of the island during the Napoleonic Wars around the 1800s was a strategic factor in securing control of the Indian Ocean. But the opening of the Suez Canal in 1869 resulted in the port being bypassed by shipping. Port activity increased during the closure of the Suez Canal and the harbour was modernised in the late 1970s. The city is a central collecting and clearing port, pointing out that it's an important export uh, from Mauritius and also the dependencies and is connected by roads to the rest of the island. Sugar export, once the mainstay of the economy, have been superseded or superseded to the point out, is the importance by manufacturing, notably textile, services and also tourism at the moment. If you consider Port Louis as transformed in a variety of ways, the city is dominated by an old fortress, the Citadel 1836, to 1838 as well, built on the hill almost in the center. A small resource is located on the eastern side. Port Louis possesses the Anglican and the Roman Catholic Cathedral, a natural history museum and an art gallery, several libraries, educational institutions, publishers and research institutions as well government offices and colonial era government houses. In the 1990s, uh, there was considerable development in Port Louis, including the addition of shops, restaurants and entertainment venues and lodging into the city's cowdered waterfront area, nearby in the Apravasis Guard, 
an immigration depot used from 1849 to 1923 and is the site is where the modern interdential labor system was begun by the British government in 1834. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site as of 2006. If you are new to our channel, we will encourage you to subscribe and share our videos to your different network. As we have pointed out, Port Louis has transformed in a number of ways. The city is also has its own challenges like any other major African city, but it has transformed in a number of ways. If you consider the strategic location of this amazing African city, it's important to know that uh, Port Louis Having over 75% of the population of Port Louis today is of Indian descent, while other ethnic cities include a people of African, Chinese, and Eurasian background. Mauritians also uh, have a people who are a mixture of groups of constituents and other minority groups in Port Louis. English is the official language of the government, but French is also spoken and taught in schools. Those who practice Hinduism account for over 50% of the population. Roman Catholics are about 25% and Muslims com uh, comprise of 17%. The rest of the people belong to Protestant Christian, domination and other religions or regular groups in the country. Well, I believe uh, Mauritius should consider to further open its frontiers to foreigners. Much has been done in the past years for foreigners to buy immobile properties in Mauritius. However, these are only in some designated areas, such as the Integrated Resort Scheme, uh, the Smart City Scheme, or the Property Development Scheme. Outside this scheme, we need prior approval from the Prime Minister's Office for a foreigner to buy a property in Mauritius. And this is, of course, added administrative burden. The government has further facilitated the process of obtaining occupation permit and work permits through an online system. However, despite the use of technology, the process remains tedious, which causes, of course, delay to get the permits, and this could be a challenge. In addition, as the law stands today, an accompanying spouse may have difficulty to also have a work permit to find job in Mauritius. Perhaps the big question is whether Mauritius should not consider relaxing its residency rules to further attract investors. Air connectivity is another challenge. Mauritius is trying hard to improve its air connectivity. Durban, Johannesburg, Nairobi benefit from direct air services with Mauritius. Turkish airline now further connects Mauritius to Europe. However, with the ambition to become a regional platform for trade and investment, the lack of direct connection and perhaps frequency as well to other imported destinations such as Accra, Lagos, etc. does not help Mauritius. It would be sad for Mauritius to only see that investors are putting their money somewhere else because it is not easy to get to Mauritius. Port Louis has gone through a lot in the past couple of years. It has transformed in a number of ways. However, as a major African city, it has faced a number of challenges over the 1773 period and also in 1892 when there was a plague and a series of fire and tropical storms that affected the country and the breakout of cholera epidemic at the time as well faced uh, gave a lot of challenges to this amazing African capital. If you consider the transformative nature of this African uh, country, it's uh, so important uh, to consider that Port Louis is an attractive place to do business and also Mauritius has been ranked in a number of ways looking at its transformative nature. Port City, as we've pointed out, is the main island of Mauritius at the capital city and its Western Indian Ocean. It's very important and sheltered in a deep water harbor accessible to ships through a break in the coral reefs. It's an important place. It's for nice for you to take a look and see how Port Louis could transform uh, your own imagination. For those of you who have been to Port Louis, we would like to hear from you. If you have visited uh, this amazing African country of Mauritius, let us know what your experiences were. But for now, I want to thank you for watching the Explorer. Hopefully, you watch our other videos. We we'll encourage you to check other videos on our channel with regards to your travel and more information about the African continent. I want to thank you for watching. We're looking forward to meeting you in our next episode. So have a good day. Bye-bye.